today I'm going to explain why a lot of you are using these wrong. And I'm talking about box mud versus bucket mud. And I'm going to explain that next. Hey, welcome to my channel here at That Kilter Guy videos. As always, I appreciate you guys. And I've seen uh, some confusion. I listen to a lot of your comments. I watch a lot of the other videos out there. And I've seen that a lot of you, especially novices, have some confusion over this. Hey, helper, my cameraman, you're supposed to be back there. Oh, well. So I'm going to explain why I say that. And I got some really good examples right here. Okay, so first of all, is there a difference? I mean, I'm talking here about regular all-purpose in a box, regular all-purpose in a bucket. And you can often get plus three in a bucket, plus three in a box. And why would you want to buy one or either of these over the other? Now, as a pro, I can tell you, we buy 99% box mud. But as a novice, you guys buy 99.99% .99 bucket mud. And you always buy the same one. There's some disadvantages to that and some advantages. Okay, the advantage for novices or any of you that just occasionally dabble in this is bucket mud is convenient. But there's a big disadvantage to it too, a couple of them. So first of all, the disadvantage between these two is this one costs usually about $4 more because you're buying the bucket. I think you actually get a little bit more mud because when we pour this in, if it's empty, it only fills it up about a little over three quarter. Whereas if you buy a bucket of it, it's pretty full. So you do get a little bit more mud, but you're paying more in the long run. Plus, this is a lot of disposal, throwing away lots of buckets. If you did nothing but bucket mud, you would just be adding a lot to the landfill for no good reason. Cardboard takes up less room and you can't even recycle it once you pop that bag out of there. Now, why do pros use mostly box mud? Well, again, it comes down to that exactly what I said. Throwing this away is a lot of waste and this is cheaper. So what we do as a pro, I've shown you this in other videos, is we take the box mud and we pour it into an empty bucket. So usually we got some old buckets like this around, but you can just take a empty bucket of any kind and you just pour it in there mix it up if you're just going to dabble in it again you can use either of these both have a disadvantage so the disadvantage to opening this up stirring it and occasionally using it is it's going to go bad a lot faster once you stir it it seems to introduce organisms in there and it will go bad like what's in this bucket. You don't want to smell this bucket, trust me. I found this one sitting over here. It's some texture I mixed up. It sat for about a week and a half. That's about all it takes. Once you've mixed it up, man, it can go bad fast. And I haven't found a solution to that. Hey, if any of you know of a trick that might make the mud last longer, comment down below. Now, the only thing I've kind of known is pour water on it. So what we normally do when we're done at the end of the day we don't usually just throw the lid on here because the sides will still dry out this bucket's been sitting around a while and i'm going to show you a picture of it but honestly the sides are just totally dry so that would make me have to scrape and chisel and get all that off there because you can't let that get into your mud then i would have to scrape the top layer off and just toss it to get rid of all those chunkies and klingons and these are the kind of Klingons not on Star Trek. These are more like the Klingons that go out and circle the planet Uranus. Not the good ones. So you don't want these in your mud. So that's one disadvantage to using this. But what you do is you scrape all around the side. Get it good and clean. Take a semi-dry brush. Well, in this case, it could be a wet brush. Clean it up and then pour a little water on top. And it'll keep it from drying out at least. I didn't do that. I don't even know where I got this. I don't use regular all-purpose much. I think a customer gave it to me. But I can still salvage it. So you do that. It'll last a week or two. 
the cooler it is, the longer it'll last. So in hot weather, it might only last four or five days and then it will go rotten and turn black and nasty like this. So you might ask, well, what about box mud? And actually, if you work out of a box, you can make it last a lot longer, but you're gonna get attacked by Klingons even more. And I'm gonna show you that. And usually the best way is after you dip a little mud out, you tuck all the plastic in just tight as you can, get the air out of there, and it, it'll last a lot longer. It usually will stay fresh for months this way before it goes bad. So it has something to do with stirring it, dipping our knife in, introducing those organisms in there. When we don't stir it and we dip a little out, we're just putting a little bit in there. So this has been sitting here for, it's probably been open for two or three months and it's still not rotten. So it lasts a lot longer. But when you open it up, let me get a camera over here and I'm going to show you what the problem with that is. Okay, you see here, when I open this bucket up, see how there's all this stuff that dried on the side despite my best efforts. You just see the little Klingons flying around everywhere there. And guess where they're landing? They're landing down there in your mud. So that's one big problem with trying to work out of the box is you're just going to end up with a lot of that, which means you're going to end up trying to scrape off but you can't really scrape the plastic so it just keeps falling in there it can be a nightmare so i don't recommend it unless if you're really just needing to get a little bit of mud now and then you might want to buy one of them little tubs you can get a tub of drywall mud or just some of the lightweight spackling or any of the various spackling they'll stay fresh a lot longer so if you're just going to do a little that of work but if you're going to every now and then break out a half a pan of mud or so this will kind of work but just you're just gonna have to throw a lot away so i don't have a great solution because i'm one of those that just occasionally goes out and does drywall repairs now and my mud keeps going bad like this i've thought about trying to add like a mineral stick down in here like I, we've got a hot tub we drop a mineral stick in there and it keeps it from going bad i'm wondering if that might help in the air but what's in the mud is probably the problem. So if you know anything, like I've thought about grapefruit seed extract, which is a powerful uh, antibacterial natural substance. I've experimented with it a little bit, haven't had too much success. Don't think chlorine would be a good idea. So if you have any ideas, let me know. So now let me show you this rotten batch here. So you can see in this picture here that on top, it looks okay. I've had times where I've opened them up and thought, oh, okay, I'll just get me some and get a scoop of it. And then you see this underneath it's black, it's rotten. It basically smells like sewer. It smells like crap. So I don't know, maybe the solution is take some of this. If you're just going to use some now and then squeeze some of it out and maybe um, seal the rest up in that bag more like a zip tie type. Again, let me know. I, I'm really curious if you guys have come up with a better solution. Now, whether you use a bucket mud or a box mud, you still should stir it. Now, why? Well, it's partly because you might want it thinner than it came. It's also because it kind of settles and breaks up just traveling. As a matter of fact, if we mix it up and let it set for four or five days, it'll often still get this kind of, uh, it's kind of like it's separating in there and when we go to use it it just doesn't feel as smooth so if you mix it up it'll come out just nice and creamy you'll be amazed how much better it feels it it spreads easier it'll actually go to the, the thinness that it's at if you take it straight out of the box or the bucket a lot of times it feels thicker until you start working it and then it goes to the thinness once you've kind of mixed it all together so you get that nice creamy feel now, if you're just doing this part time and like I say, you're just mixing up a little now and then and you don't want to invest in this big drill, I'm going to show you here. This is a cheap way. This is the cheapest way you guys can mix up mud at home. Just chuck up a simple egg beater into your drill. It cost me 99 cents at the thrift store and put some in your pan, mix it in there. It'll be nice and creamy and you didn't have to stir up the whole bucket. So that works good if you're just going to do a little bit and you don't want to buy this because honestly 
this mixer back here there are a little bit cheaper versions but this one's like 40 or 50 dollars but i really like it because it doesn't shake the bucket like a two-bladed mixer does it mixes faster and just works really well it's got a nice design it blends things well but when you're going to mix with something that big you have to use a big drill if you try and mix with this sometimes it'll turn it i've tried but you'll burn this up all that mud you see on there that's from this egg beater not from the big drill you got to have a pretty good sized drill so it needs to turn around 600 rpms or so and have plenty of power i'll put the link to this one in the description and you can compare the specs on it now there are some cheaper versions that i think would work if you're just doing this now and then as pros you pretty much want to get something that you're just not going to have to replace and a drill like this this should last you 10 15 20 years depending on how much you're mixing up so hey you see these other videos popping up here these are some other popular videos i've got that you guys like and some that may just help you out there went my light so be sure and click on one of those subscribe click the thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video everybody take care I do.